Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here at my home garage giving you guys one of my quick little projects. So we're back in the corner of my shop, which is kind of a forgotten area where I keep my Eastwood QST compressor. Um, and what we're working on today is I'm going to be blasting this uh, 35 Buick dash. I picked this up at a swap meet recently. I thought it was really neat and uh, figured I'd kind of get it blasted and cleaned and put in some primer so when I'm ready to use it for my next project, it's all ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, after I got this home, I realized that it doesn't quite fit into my Eastwood uh, big stand-up blasting cabinet. It's just a little too big, and, and even if it did fit, it'd probably be kind of awkward to spin it around in the blast cabinet. So what I'm gonna do is take this and uh, give it a quick little blast to get all this rust off of the dash, and I'm going to use the Eastwood uh, blast out of a bucket or small job blasting kit. Uh, this is a really handy, simple setup that you can blast with when you're doing uh, parts like this. It's something that's larger than you could fit in a cabinet, uh, but it's not so large you're doing a frame or something like that uh, because the hose is kind of short. It works well for parts like this. Now the really nice thing about this is you don't need a, a high performance compressor like the QST. You can use a much smaller compressor because it's not like a uh, pressure pot style uh, blaster. This basically you just shove this down inside of a bag of media or a bucket and you hit the trigger and it uses the suction to pull it up and uh, blast your parts. I like it because it's a quick easy setup and because I don't do a ton of blasting a uh, big pressure blaster doesn't make as much sense for me uh, so I like to use this uh, small job blasting kit to blast out of a bucket. So I'm gonna get this all hooked up, run a hose outside, and we're gonna get this, uh, this old dash all cleaned up and ready to use in my next project. So let's get started. All right, so we got the dash all blasted. Took a little while because this was pretty rusty, uh, but we got it all blasted. In the last shot you saw, I was spraying it down with after blast. Uh, what that does is it cleans off all the residue from blasting. It also kind of etches the metal and gets it ready for you to paint or coat however you'd like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just trying to preserve this dash until I'm ready to use it again. I'm gonna coat this in some primer just to get it all sealed up and then I can uh, put the gauges back in and it's pretty much ready to go to put on the shelf until I find a good project for it. So I'm gonna get the primer out, spray this down, get it all sealed up, we'll be good to go. All right, so I got the primer on, let everything dry overnight, and I went ahead and threw the glove box, the gauge panel, and the center trim that holds the ashtray, the light switch, and the throttle uh, pull. Got that all mounted, looks really good. Uh, the before and after on this is amazing. Uh, I can't believe this is the same dash, but now it's all sealed up. Uh, we used the blast out of the bucket, small job kit to blast this, get this all blasted up real quick. Nice, fresh, bare steel that I could then coat with some primer, get everything sealed up so that when I am ready to use it, I'm not dealing with the rust. And we can go ahead and either spray a uh, coat of high build primer, or we can modify the dash as needed if it's going in a hot rod or something like that. So that's all I have for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you click the link down below the video to learn more about this product and all of all the products to help you do the job right.